Welcome back to our Gran Turismo 7 Let's Play. Today, we are actually so close to the end of this series. If we jump into the car cafe, let's go recap with Luca. Where are we? Oh yeah, so in the last episode, we just completed our AMG collection, which was pretty good. Up next is our Nissan GTR collection. No way. What do I need to earn for that? An R33, R34, and an R35? No way! Speaking of GTRs, some people in Twitch chat were telling me that in the legendary car dealer, there is actually another GTR. This is the 2000 GTR in the legendary car dealer. It only costs 121,000 credits, which, uh, let's be honest, in comparison to these, isn't actually very much. I want to do some math. So for the Porsche 917, right, from 1970, this car cost 8 18 million credits. You might be saying, yeah, but Gran Turismo is all about the grind. And yes, it is. Throughout my entire time playing this game, I've acquired 2.5 million credits. Ah, uh, how long did it take me to get there though? F 32 hours. Yeah, that's 80,000 credits per hour. How many hours would it take me to get that? So 18 million divided by 80,000, 225 hours. As you might have heard, Gran Turismo's recently got into a little bit of hot water with how their credit system works. Don't worry, the developers say. They're actually gonna make things a little bit easier for you. They've given me 1 million credits. Compensation for extended server maintenance. We've only got 17,600,000 to go. Don't worry, lads. That's only 220 hours. Th there is one other thing. For those of you who don't know, you can actually buy credits in Gran Turismo and top them up on the PlayStation Store. Two million credits you can get for $27. That would actually take you, based off my math, 25 hours to earn. Gran Turismo values your time at about $1 per hour. All this to say, Gran Turismo has a economy to fix. I don't know what's more broken, the Zimbabwe dollar or Gran Turismo 7 economy. When you get given dollar dollar bills, you buy the fastest car in the game, don't you? One million credits. Actually, hold on. I'm going to paint this a proper color. One million credits. Earned and gone. The Dodge SRT Tomahawk has been added to our garage. Thank you very much. Anyways, why don't we go and collect some Nissan GTRs? To collect these GTRs, where do I need to race? Europe and in Asia. Okay, so we've got Dragon Trail, Deep Forest Raceway, and over in Asia, we've got the Tokyo Expressway. This one is for the R34. I... I guess we've got to start with that. Let's go. So we've got four laps of the Tokyo Expressway. How hard can it be? So as per usual for Gran Turismo, we are starting all the way at the back, P16, and we've got to fight our way all the way up into the top three. Please bear with me. I've been playing a lot of iRacing recently, so... um. If I mess up, I'm gonna blame it on that. It's actually not as hard to drive as I was expecting. I was kind of expecting this car to be, I don't know, kind of all over the place. Don't get me wrong, it's still a 500 horsepower GTR, but I think the combination of the all wheel drive and the newly upgraded grippy tires is making this manageable. All right, we're 12 seconds behind first place. Come on. Reel them all in. We should be able to reel some people in in a straight line. Is that a pit? I think that is the pits on this circuit. Anyways, we're only seven seconds behind the guy in first place. Come on. Keep it going. 190 miles an hour. Uh-oh. Um. Since when does an R32 only have five gears? I thought the GTRs were all six speeds. I had no idea. Anyways, here is third place. There's a 2017 GTR and there's a Nismo. What a sick looking car. Okay, move buddy. We've got to send it up the inside on the Nismo. We're actually way lighter than him. We can get on the brakes super late. Thank you. Okay, now we've got one more guy to go, but he's four seconds up the road nearly. I guess you learn something new every day. Somebody says the R33 is a five speed. This guy in first is actually rubber banding away. 
Like, bro, I can't catch him. But it's like, oh. Nothing to see. Anyways, let's bring this home, R32. This thing looks so, so sick. Just like that. That actually wasn't a very long race, and we've already got our R34. Actually, thinking about it, I probably should have unlocked the R35 first because that would have made it easier to unlock the other GTRs. Where's the R35? This is the R35. Okay, so we're racing around deep forest for this thing. Can I use this? It might be a little bit harder, but I'll give it a go. Five laps of deep forest raceway, so I've got plenty of time to get past everybody here. I just kind of hope that the R34 is fast enough. I don't know, it's gonna be pretty tough. I'm going to need to absolutely send it. Bro, an R34 is way slower than I remember. Like, jeez. I don't know why, but I always feel like in my mind an R34 is way faster than it actually is. I mean, compared to my modified R32 that I was driving, it's just a bit slow. I guess it's what, only 350 horsepower or something, so. It makes sense. It's just I'm used to driving much faster stuff in this game. It took me an entire lap to get past one guy. Yeah, no, I, 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 I need my other car. Right out of the gate, I've got way more grip from those upgraded tires, which is nice. I'm gonna be able to send one up the inside on the GTR, so uh, that took precisely two quarters. Bro, look at the R35 mod. Yo, that's cool. I kind of want to make a wide body R35 now that I think about it. Get the R34, thank you very much. That's already P10. Here's another R34 for ninth place. It was a bit dark, I couldn't see him. Sorry, that's my bad. Oh, sorry, bro. I'm just hitting everybody out here like Will Smith. We're just gonna we're just gonna move on from that one. R33. See you later. That is P6. We are in now. Well, apparently Twitch chat is offended at my Will Smith joke. I wonder if my subscriber count will take a hit from that one. You know what they say? Pa pa paper paper beats raw. I shouldn't be doing memes. As I'm racing, as I was saying, going on to lap number four, send it around the AI. We are up into the top three now. So we're gonna get our car. Let's just send it past these two GTRs. I think they're both R35s. They are R35 with a massive rear. Oh. Thank you, and we are good. That joke slapped harder than Will Smith did. There we go, though. R35 officially unlocked. <laughs> oh, ooh. Ooh, that, that was a harder hit than I expected. Yo, going the distance, 24 hours of Le Mans trophy earned. 40,000 credits for that, thank you very much. And we get a one-star roulette ticket. There is our R35, I think we've gotta give that a go. It's just so cool. A one-star roulette ticket, all right, game, just, you might as well let me down. No way there is a gold bar, no way. Not gonna lie, a bit of a slap in the face, but overall, I'll take the 10K credits. R35 GTR, I wanna see what upgrades we can do to this thing. So like I was saying, we wanna be at the top or near 700 PP. So I think we're gonna go for some racing tires. Again, those are always a good investment on our cars. We can also go for a high RPM turbo. That's nearly 700 horsepower. I think just those two upgrades are gonna be good enough for me. Our wide body is only 25,000 credits. That's actually pretty good. Wide body R35. Sure. Pull those fenders out. There we go. I love how our PP class is 666. So we're gonna need some new wheels. Let's go for some BBS wheels. Let's go 20 inch, leave them like that. Wide rims and wide offset. The offset could be a little bit better there, but not terrible. We've got some front bumper stuff to make it a little bit race car -y. That's actually pretty cool. Let's go for that one. Side skirts, let's go for the matching one. I feel like that's kind of matching. Rear, sure, let's go for a big diffuser. And finally, our rear wing. So wingless, a really cool rear wing, ducktail, or the custom rear wing. I kind of like the idea of a custom rear wing for this. It's very race car -y, and we haven't yet built like a race car in this game. A very, very clean GTR. All right, so five laps of this circuit for our R35. Oh, this brings back memories of my GTR. The interior is, is basically identical, if I'm honest. 
They haven't really changed too much in here. I mean, let's be honest. They haven't really changed much for the GTR since... 2009. And uh, with all of our upgrades, very, very quick and very, very grippy. 140 miles an hour, 150 miles an hour and getting on the brakes. I probably should have upgraded the brakes or done some weight reduction or something to get us through the corners a little bit quicker, but when in doubt, horsepower, right? Nicely done, GTR. Yo, this thing feels so good. It's definitely a little bit heavy in the corners. You can see that. But other than that, this thing is so good. There we go. Reel him in with some horsepower. Just, just move out of the way. Thank you. We're just gonna save everybody time here. 150 miles an hour again. Okay, I really wanna see what top speed we can do. GTR on GTR, give me a slipstream, buddy. I actually probably should've installed some NOS as well. That would've made us pretty OP. Whoa, GTR's everywhere. Whoa. We're okay, we're okay, we're not okay, we're not okay. Can I just say, I've been driving so many GTRs in video games recently. Why you brake check me? Move! Thank you! See you never, sunshine. All right, that's gonna be all GTRs unlocked. I mean, this certainly isn't a clean race, but boy, that's a fun one. Third and final race for our GTRs. 40,000 more credits, so that pays for uh, about nothing. And there is our final GTR. Let's go! We've still gotta buy the Nismo at some point, but for now, that's a pretty solid collection. GTR collection has been completed. Luca, congratulations, you've got all three cars from your GTR collection. Give me some nice reward. Four star roulette ticket. All right, don't let me down, my guy. Gold bar, please. Nope, nope, okay. Uh, I'll take the engine swap or the BMW. Another slap in the face. Who would have ever guessed that Gran Turismo 7 is basically Will Smith? I have two invitations for Aston. I've got one for the Vulcan and one for the 177. If I scroll down to Citroen, um, the game bro, great game, no obvious flaws. All right, time to test out my Tomahawk that I spend all my money on. I guess mission one will take it for a bit of a top speed test. We've got a one lap race with 20 cars. I will start in last. So for those of you who have never seen this before, this is the fastest car in Gran Turismo 7. It has a 7 liter engine, all wheel drive, and 2,600 horsepower. Not to mention it weighs 1,600 pounds. Do you see those exhausts? I... I'm driving a spaceship. 350. Everything's vibrating. Everything's vibrating. Stop! Oh, yo, I've got a boost. I've got a boost. Look, look, look. I've got a little, ah! I've got a little flaps, and if I press L3, those close, and I'm doing 370, 380. I crashed. I wonder if I could do 400 miles an hour. Let's find out. 380, 390, I died. 390, slip streaming. 397, 398, 399, 400 miles an hour. That is so fast. I want to see what this thing's actually like to drive. So let's give it a go around Monza. We've got two laps. Rev it up. That is so ridiculous. I thought this game is supposed to be realistic. And then it does... Um, that's 200 miles an hour, 300 miles an hour. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I, I don't understand why, but it's like I turn into the corner and nothing happens for a while. And I, I don't know what, like, you see? It literally changes every single thing you know about driving a stupid car. Thank you. Um, it tried to do a wheelie. I think you can see that this vehicle's rather undrivable now. The most stupid thing I've ever done in this game. 